Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And today I have some absolutely harrowing news for you. In a surprise to absolutely nobody, NFTs are dying. Not just slightly dying, but horrendously dying. Let's jump in and take a look how this is happening, or more to the point, what's happening. I first caught wind of this news in a tweet from Jesse Felder. The NFT market is collapsing. Sales fell to a daily average of about 19,000 this week, a 92% decline from a peak of about 225,000 in September. Active wallets fell 88% to about 14,000 last week from a high of 119,000 in November. And yeah, um, NFTs are well and truly on death's doorstep. Uh, and here we are, The Independent also reported on this, which is no surprise because The Independent reports on just about anything from a lost cat to uh, a world war that never happened. So let's take a look at what they have to say on this topic. So The Independent here are talking about how uh, last month the Royal Mint announced that it would create an NFT backed by the UK government. I can't see anything going wrong with that. Uh, as an emblem of the forward-looking approach it wished to take. Fair enough, I guess. Take, take from that what you will. Unlike the EU and US, the UK has a small number of regulators, and central government sets the overall framework and can take decisive action. The Economic Secretary John Glenn said in at April's Innovation Global Finance Summit 2022. We can move very nimbly, he added, Though the issuance of a government-backed NFT appears to come after interest in the space substantially subsided. This just seems like everything to do with the UK will do something popular after it stops being popular. Uh, the apparent decline was seen during an auction of an NFT of Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey's first tweet last month. Which, by the way, flopped massively. It was worth like 1.6 million. And now people aren't even willing, <laughs> aren't even willing to pay 6,000 for his tweet. Which, why would you anyway? Oh, I was wrong. After initially purchased for 2.9 million last year, the resale attracted a top bid of just $280 in April. Tesla boss Elon Musk, a prominent cryptocurrency advocate, also appeared to dismiss NFTs this week after changing his profile, his Twitter profile picture to a collage of the popular Bored Ape Yacht Club NFT series. Mr. Musk tweeted, I don't know, seems kind of fungible. I think it's safe to say that if Elon's mocking something... It's not going to be around very long. So I'm glad that he's gone after NFTs this time. You know, it's a constructive use of his tweets. Next up, we have something that to me is just straight up comedy. Uh, Ikomi, or also known as Omi, is a cryptocurrency that's only functionality right now is based around a speculative NFT market. So realistically, Omi is the perfect, a perfect case study for how well NFTs are being received right now. It, it pretty much correlates one-to-one -one with it. There may be some exceptions, there may be some pump and dumps, there may be volatility in the crypto market, but this is a pretty telling sign of where NFTs are headed right now. It crashed. Oh boy. It has crashed 83% nearly from its all-time high, which is in the span of a year. I will never understand why people are so obsessed with NFTs. And I have a real issue with this because every NFT project that I see will not do their own advertising. They all advertise through their users. Basically saying, hey, this is an investment, but only if you make it into an investment, you have to sell it. It's kind of like multi-level marketing. In fact, it's exactly like that. I sell you an ugly crying chimp. Now, that's no longer my problem. It's your problem. And you know that. That's why you purchased it. But you purchased it so you could make it somebody else's problem at an even higher cost. Make it look desirable. And realistically, this method is starting to show its cracks and completely fall through. Because the only people you're selling it to are other people who think that they can sell it on for more. You're not selling it to somebody who wants to own it. I think between this and the Axie Infinity hack, which Axie is a pretty NFT-centric game, right? If, if we can even call it a game. Which, by the way, I do still intend to jump into that and make a video on Play to Earn by itself. 
But this is all leading up to show that this is just falling apart at the seams. NFTs are showing that they have zero value, like actual value that you, you can't do anything with them. You can play some shitty pay, uh, play to earn games that are only being played by people who want to earn. So there's nobody buying the stuff off you at any decent price to use in game because they also are trying to make money off the game. Think of it like those strawberry picking farms that you can go to. You pay £10 to get into the farm and you can pick as many strawberries as you want. But now imagine you're trying to sell them. But you're not trying to sell them to just any Bob, Dick and Joe. You're trying to sell them to the other people who've paid £10 to get in there and also have unlimited access to said strawberries. It's kind of strange. It's wild. It's, it's almost like no one with an economic background has thought into this. I think the NFT community are now also arriving at this conclusion. They've spent so long trying to sell shit to other people that are trying to sell shit that now they're all just trying to undercut each other to buy that shit off the previous person at a lower price in hopes that they can sell it on at a higher price. And it's just not working anymore. This, this decline in the amount of active users and non-fungible tokens sold daily is a really telling sign. Coinbase recently opened up their own NFT marketplace and they have been transparent with their figures. On their first week of sales, of being operational, they sold less than 180 NFTs. What the hell? A multi, and this really goes to, this backs up what I've been saying for the longest time. They are an incredibly small minority, the, the people that want to be involved in NFTs, but they are so obnoxiously loud and repetitively retweeting anything that has the word NFT in it. And by the way, I know this for a fact because there is a, a massive pro NFT Twitter account that I have seen tweet multiple times and I've seen some of their tweets retweeted and they are all about positivity in the NFT space. I put out a tweet a while back basically saying that NFTs are a massive pile of dog shit and it instantly, and I mean instantly, got retweeted. These accounts are just trying to bot fake interest in the NFT space and it's just falling flat. It's falling short because it's now very apparent to everybody that this is what's going on. And it's the same with their whole kind of culture of the uh, we're all going to make it, the wag me uh, that they keep posting on Twitter. That to me doesn't show like a sign of, I, I believe we're all going to make it. That's them searching for a, a sign of solidarity. Think of these people as the last people on the Titanic. They're there, they're uncertain, and they need reassurance from the people around them that what they're going to do is a good decision, such as the lifeboats are heading out, and they've got the option to jump on the lifeboats, but it's scary, they might lose out. Or they could stay on the sinking Titanic and just keep looking around to people saying, we're going to be okay, aren't we? Like, are we, are we going to be okay? And then they'll turn back and be like, yeah, yeah, we're going to be okay, because they're both in this together. Their whole, we're all going to make it attitude really just screams sinking ship to me. And I, I've said this before, and I think it's now starting to show that that is in fact the case. Nobody wants to go there, but the people who are already there are so invested and could possibly not lose as much as if they bailed. So they're all just reassuring each other, you know, just one big just circle jerking round on the deck of the ship that they're, they're all going to be fine. Jesus Christ. Ladies and gents, well, hopefully... As I've said in the last few videos, hopefully this is going to be the end of it now. The decline is quite apparent. There seems to be no saving this now. Hopefully this will be the wipeout of the plague. And uh, we'll be all the better for it. Because this is truly the plague of our generation. This is the you will own nothing and you will be happy about it kind of mentality that a lot of companies now seem to be pushing. Anyway, this was just a quick update on the brilliant news that NFTs are dying. Uh, I missed a video last week because I've been preparing for one or possibly two new series that I'm going to be starting on this channel. I want to be able to start a series that you guys can look forward to and check in on that I can put in there scattered amongst the kind of like news of the day or news of the week, you know, type of videos that I normally make.
If you guys are enjoying the content, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what sort of videos you want to see in these series. And as always, a massive thank you to the patrons. You guys are absolute babes. If you're watching this as it premieres, I'm going to be live over on Twitch. I'm about to hit max level in World of Warcraft, and we're going to start the fun part. We can finally play the game. If Twitch isn't your thing, totally understandable. And until next time, take care.